Hello everyone. As you can see, I got the engine painted. Didn't quite turn out as I had hoped. Um, I used this stuff here, this Duplicolor engine enamel with ceramic. Now, I don't know if it's because it has that ceramic in it or what, but you might be able to tell in the video that it's not gloss black like the can says. It's more of a dark silver, almost. It looks a little black in the video, but there's some spots here. It just looks bad. And I, I don't really like that paint. I'm probably never going to use that again. It just didn't turn out well. It seemed like it oversprayed real bad and left a bad texture. But as you can see, I still have all my components masked, ma excuse me, masked off because I believe I'll be using a different brand of paint. But today, we're going to be, well, I'll be showing you how to pre-prime your oil system in your engine before you put it in the car. So that as soon as you start it, it'll have in instant oil pressure. Now, all you really need to do this is an old distributor. And you just need to grind the oops, grind the cam gear off and I've already done that here's the old one this car used to have the electronic spark timing or whatever the heck that junk was so I just used that old distributor and I just actually pulled the whole drive shaft out and ground the gear off and ground it down so that a 3 8 drill could fit because I don't have a half inch drill. Now you want to have your oil in your engine and pre-fill your oil filter and you also want to know the rotation of your distributor. Now a small block Chevy turns clockwise whereas this engine the distributor turns counterclockwise. So you want to turn your oil pump in that direction. You can do that, or they also sell a tool. I believe JEG sells it or Summit sells it. They sell pretty much a tool that looks very similar to this, but I just didn't have time to wait for it. And since I had an old distributor laying around, I figured I might as well just use it. Now, if you don't, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't, have an old distributor or you don't quite have any cash to uh, shell out for one of those tools one thing you could do is I'm just going to use a small block Chevy oil pump just to show you you just remove these bolts there's four bolts on an Oldsmobile one too you pull that apart and there will be two gears in there and what you want to do is just pack that cavity with petroleum jelly. And then take the gears out, pack it around some more, pack it up till it's coming out of here. And what that'll do is as soon as you turn the key over and it drives your oil pump, it'll create a vacuum and it'll suck the oil up into the engine almost instantly. But I've used that method before. It works good. I've never had an issue with it. But I just like using this method better because this way you can kind of put oil into your hydraulic lifters because I didn't bench bleed these. So pretty much what you want to do is take your valve covers off once you have your oil in there and you have your, can your uh, oil pump tool in there. And what you'll do is just start spinning the oil pump with your drill in the direction that it will go. And you'll just watch these holes in your rocker arms. And whenever you get enough oil, it'll either assembly lube or oil will start coming out of there. And you want to watch and make sure that oil is coming out on both sides. At least that's how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start. It, it may take a little while to do this. It may not. But there it goes. I 
I can feel the resistance on the drill now, so it must mean it's pumping. Yeah, this drive shaft's bent on this, so it's going to wobble. See, there's some oil coming out there. So we'll just keep going. See some oil coming out there. See if we got any on the other side. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some on the other side now. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't know if you can see in the video or not, but my drill has pretty much had it. But that's all you look for, is just the oil coming out of there. And I didn't know if you caught it or not, but this one was actually squirting out. But that's all there really is to pre-oiling pre your engine. And that kind of ensures that everything will have oil whenever you first start that, first turn that key. Alright, just wanted to show you. Thank you for watching.